So the trailer is an eight and a half by 20 Lark tandem axle with about a 7,000 pound capacity. I bought the trailer in Washington, got a good deal on it and brought it back to California while helping a friend move. I knew partially what I wanted to do. Getting the ISO insulation installed was pretty much step one since we really couldn't even build anything until the ISO was installed. We removed the top row of plywood and then slid the ISO down behind the lower sections and filled all the gaps with spray foam. The day that the first orders came in were like Christmas. Box after box just kept arriving of all the goodies I'd been ordering and I was so excited, it was unbelievable. Even though I wasn't really ready to set up a large amount of furniture, I had to start setting things up to make sure that my layout would actually work in real life. I had taken measurements from all the things I had ordered and put blue tape on the floor, but it wasn't until I like, got the components there and started putting things where I thought they would go that I could make the final adjustments. I was able to get the Hippie Jack, Happy Jack bed lift installed pretty easily, got the uh, couch, sofa, sleeper, wall units mounted, and then I was able to do some light framing. The air conditioning unit was my biggest fear factor. Like I knew it was going to be over 100 pounds on a roof that absolutely could not support it. So I knew I was going to have to frame that in. It took a large amount of floor space having it stored inside the camper, and I wanted to get it mounted as soon as possible. Clutter was definitely one of my biggest regrets. If I had been doing this project in the summer, I could have left a lot of things outside. But since it was wintertime, I had to have a lot of the components stored inside while I was working. Definitely a waste of time moving a lot of things around. When it was finally time to cut a hole in the ceiling, I was pretty terrified. But I had watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, and I just basically copied the people that I felt I had the most confidence in. Then I was able to install the air conditioner, getting out of my way, and I started installing all of the other Victron electrical components. Also very terrifying, I'm not an electrician. And they literally sent me bags of bolts and lugs and nuts and uh, schematics that were really hard to read. Northern Arizona, wind and sun, and their phone support was amazing and I would definitely purchase my electrical systems from them again just because of the support I received. Once the 12 volt system was operational, I was able to hook up the bed lift and get it to operate another very exciting moment. One of the things I loved about this build was every time I would accomplish something that I had never done before and it would work out the way I had planned, I did not get to shoot a lot of video um, while installing a lot of the beginning cabinetry, fine tuning things. I eventually moved the microwave over the refrigerator. And then I realized how intensely I was involved in the project and forgetting to make videos to post. And so I'm trying to bring you guys up to speed with pictures. I did a much better job of filming the process for both the solar and the furnace, and I plan on posting those videos later. I really hope that I can continue to document uh, the process a little better with video, and I intend on posting those soon.